Good evening, Cole. Good evening, Watson. Are you occupied? Oh, not really. I've had a very relaxed day. You on the other end seem to have been quite busy, judging from the mud on the hem of your robes and the ink stains on your fingers. Now, how may I help you, Watson? Well, I stumbled across the term freezing point depression, and I was curious as to its meaning. Ah, freezing point depression. It's a very interesting concept in chemistry. I remember a few years ago doing uh, two experiments on the topic. I'd like to show them to you. Come on, Watson. Hey. Here you go, Watson. I've gotten all the materials necessary. Here is ice cold ice, a bottle of club soda, glass. Glass, yeah, yes, yeah, glass. And uh, this is a thermal cube thing. A cup, a thermometer, and a bag of rock salts. All right, Watson. Here's what I've done. I've taken this, uh, this thermal cube and put a lot of ice at the bottom, and added a layer of rock salt. Then I submerged the bottle into. You can see the bottle over here. Then I kept adding layers of ice and rock salt until it was fully covered. Our goal is to get this down to exactly negative 0.8 degrees Celsius. Negative 8? That's right, negative 8. Ready? Yeah, okay. go ahead. Let's take the cup soda out slowly without disturbing the cup soda. Not that it's still liquid. If it was water, it would be solid by this point. It's negative 8 degrees Celsius. Let's open it. All frozen now, see? Quick freeze. Okay. And then put some salt. Okay, from here. Ice fishing. <laughs>